Good morning and welcome back. Here we are, build season location two. There's the Hornet, Steve 2.0 is back there. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on with this car today. We'll give you a quick overview of what we're doing and then we'll get right to it. All right, so here's a couple of the new parts. If, I don't know if we talked about this, but last fall we found out the, the water pump on the Hornet was leaking. Uh, big surprise, that was the water pump that we used that was on the Use 360 that was on this engine when we got it. So we had no idea if it was going to work or not. And it worked for a few months, then started to leak. Additionally, here is a new AMC timing cover. Um, now these are this is a sore subject we won't get into this too far because these things are expensive and there's only a few places you can get them the entire reason that we need to replace the front timing cover on this engine is because the oil pump leaks specifically on AMC's they leak right here this is the idler shaft for the oil pump this is a press fit into the cast aluminum cover so on that, on this idler shaft in there is one of the gears for the oil pump. And that is, like I said, just pressed into this cast aluminum cover. Um, eventually these shafts start to loosen up and move around and oil gets past them. And then you have a never ending oil leak right here on top of the oil filter adapter. It gets all over the timing marks and everything. So because the oil water pump was leaking and the oil pump was leaking, we're gonna replace the whole thing. Steve's already been at this this morning. Uh, we're gonna, he's pulling the upper radiator hose right now. And then we're gonna pull all the accessories off. So the alternator's gotta come off, the power steering pump's gotta come off. And then the harmonic balancer and the crank pulley, that's all gotta come off to get to the timing cover right here. And the water pump's attached to the timing cover. Uh, there's a couple of bolts that go through the water pump and the timing cover into the block. So essentially, uh, we'll set you guys on time lapse and we'll rip all this stuff off so we can get prepped for the new stuff. There's culprit number one. And the gasket looked like it was okay, but that was, sweet, uh, that was leaking weak. out of the weep hole. Yeah. yeah. Okay, timing cover. Uh, I might need a pry bar. Okay, well there we go. Yeah, it's as easy as that. Yeah. All right, timing cover's off. See the timing chain. Uh, obviously everything looks really nice in here because this was all new when we put it back together last year. So we're gonna have to scrape all the gasket off of there. Okay, so inside the, inside the oil filter adapter housing in here, here's the shaft that's actually driven by the uh, distributor or by the cam gear. But then up in here, there's that idler shaft, which you can see on the new one is right here. So that was the issue for the oil leak here. Um, here's the new cover. I've already been over this. We're gonna scrape all the gasket off of the block and then prep all this stuff and slam it back on. All right, Steve's gonna take you guys through swapping all the components over between the old timing cover and the new one. He's also gonna cover the oil pump 
uh, with the rebuild kit in there. In the meantime, I'm gonna be scraping gaskets in the background. All right guys, uh, as Steve mentioned, we're gonna start stealing some parts off the old timing cover. Um, gotta steal hardware, get the oil filter off, which probably would have been easier to do while I was on the car. Now I gotta try to wrestle this thing off on the bench, but uh, we're gonna start tearing this thing down to steal the parts we need uh, for the new timing cover and new water pump. And then uh, there's also some uh, rebuild uh, gears and stuff that we'll be putting in there shortly, so. Like I mentioned, we're pulling off the oil filter adapter off the old uh, timing cover oil filter oil pump. And what we're finding is there's some differences in the old casting versus the new casting. So um, basically this little bypass filter spring setup looks like it's not gonna be used on the new one. So we'll just use the adapter to be able to mount the oil filter and move on. So Steve's got the, the new uh, oil pump gears in here, and then we have just a light coating of some, actually some straight ZDDP additive, just to make sure that these gears don't wear against the aluminum cover. Uh, so the gasket drops on here, and we're not putting any gasket sealer on here because the clearance between these gears and this cover plate or the oil filter adapter is very important to maintain oil pressure. So here's the new adapter. Make sure the holes are lined up in the gasket. We had to reuse the old hardware because this uh, new adapter didn't come with any. So in, under this big hex nut here is the bypass spring. Or I'm sorry, that's the pressure regulator, isn't pressure, it? Pressure, yeah. yeah. Pressure regulator assembly. It's got a plunger. Yeah, it's got a plunger just like this that slips down into the back of that passage. And then oil pressure being built by the pump will slowly push this against the spring. Uh, to try to regulate output pressure. All right, here we go. Finally going back together. All right, gaskets are on. Yep. I got a skim coat of uh, sealer on the back of that. Can you see where that stud is? I can't see if that's... That one? Yeah. There you go. Yep. There you go, run her home. Oh, I, there you go. Passing over the crank. Yeah, maybe? I think so. Okay. There, it seems like it's going. Thinking we'll have to tighten up a couple of these to snug it in and then hit the bottom ones that go through the oil pan. Probably. Okay. Because I don't know if I'll get these through the oil pan right now. So the plan here is to just snug the timing cover up to the block just to get it pulled all the way on. And then we're going to use the, all right, so I'm pulled tight to the block now. I'm going to loosen it back up. Hold on a second, let me get this okay. started on that side. So we're using two bolts to pull the cover tight to the block just so that we can get the two bolts from the oil pan in the bottom of the timing cover started. Then we're going to use those to pull the timing cover down or up tight to the oil pan. Then we'll tighten it all the way to the block. All right, so it was a little bit of a struggle to get the timing cover pulled tight enough so that the lower bolts could start, but we were able to do that. Uh, now the rest of the bolts are tight. There's a couple of them that are missing because they hold on accessory brackets. So the new gasket for the new water pump is in place. We're gonna slam that on right now. And this is an aluminum water pump. So it's probably what, five pounds lighter than the cast iron hunk of crap that came off. Nice, there it should be. Okay, fresh gasket, we'll get some uh, nuts on there, a couple of washers, because these are actually factory studs, so that's how long they are. Uh, we'll get that snugged up, and then we'll pick back up when we're slamming accessories on. All right, viewers, here we are. Timing cover's reinstalled, water pump's back on, alternator's back on, as well as power steering. Uh, let's see, I got the hoses here for the inlet and outlet of the water pump hooked up. Just need a clamp on that lower one. Uh, the last thing that we're going to do today is Steve has an HEI distributor. We are going to drop that in. The engine should be very, very close to top dead center. So we're going to slam the HEI in here. Uh, and yeah, we're going to wrap up. So we'll come back. It's the brand new Summit unit. Ooh, and it's black. That's, that's better. That means it's good. That's, it's good. Yeah. Check out the size of that thing. Hopefully that thing fits in there. 
compared to the old be, one. Woo! It's gonna be a little snug. I hear they are tight in the front, and it's very important on where we adjust the or where we set the vacuum advance can, because otherwise you may not have any adjustment. So there's the new one, brand new from Summit. Um, I don't know. Thing looks like a pretty decent unit. So we're gonna get this all switched over and I'll show you when we install it. Here we are back together. Uh, the HEI is dropped into place. We're gonna have to do some playing around with where the distributor goes. We might have to, we gotta pick a place for this uh, vacuum pot to go. Uh, we gotta adjust all the accessories back and you know get this position to where we can actually adjust timing. Um, otherwise, all the accessories are bolted back up. It's gasketed and resealed and ready to go. So I think from here, Steve is gonna continue to tinker uh, finish uh, button the rest of this up and then we do have some brake work to do there's a whole story on that uh, Steve found an issue with the length of the push rod on the on the brakes so he's been working on that there's a little distribute or distribution block over down here that has the brake switch in there that's actually being removed and he has an aftermarket adjustable proportioning valve from Summit right here. This is for the rear brakes uh, so that he can use the new master right there to go with the disc brakes in the front and then he can adjust pressure in the back for the drums. All right, viewers, I think that's gonna do it for today. It's a nice short one. Just wanted to get a, a whole bunch of work hogged through on the Hornet. So I think from here, Steve will be able to keep pushing this forward. Um, but I mean, pressure is on, right? We have what, probably five weeks or so? Clock's ticking. Right, power tour's coming up. So thanks a lot for watching. We will catch you in the next one.